Hey guys, welcome back to the big build. Over 16 build episodes, we're making this. Well, it's time to start on the other side. Uh, we've done the basics on the other, on the original side. You can see the route track we placed already. And it's time to start here. Now we're gonna start this side by doing the obvious, by placing track, you can see what we're doing. And up we go. And eventually this line here will take us out to um, the sawmill. Yes, it's a sawmill, a working sawmill. And beyond that, a forestry. Now I'm gonna be honest, I, I do wish I had done this on a standard gauge railway, this part, because there aren't the, uh, the correct wagons to actually do this on a narrow gauge, but uh, oh, hey ho, it's done now. And actually, probably the uh, possibly an hour gauge uh, engine wouldn't have the power to actually pull a reasonable weight of uh, logs and uh, lumber. But I like the idea of they cut the wood down here, they take it to the sawmill, cut it into planks, take it to the uh, warehouse or the factory, and uh, they make goods. And then you take it to the uh, the station there, the uh, the freight station, and transfer it to the main line, and it goes somewhere else. I quite like that idea. Yes, we connect that back up again. The idea is basically we can leave wagons in one of two, well, two of those uh, sidings there. And the train can always get, the loco can always get from one end to the other on the third. Try and get as even as possible. I don't like kinks. And we're gonna connect this up to it as well. I suspect we run two ways, that uh, be a service between the sawmill and uh, the forestry and then a service from the, the, uh, the sawmill down to a factory somewhere. Now this is where I was originally going to put the train depot. But one of the nice things you could do, if you're on the main line on just a, a passenger train, it's actually nice to be able to look over and you can see some of the, uh, the assets, the scenery. And that's a little too far away to do that. So we move that a little bit. Now, nice country road. Now, this actually has traffic on it. We take it all the way to the end of the board. We'll hide it some, with some hills later on, the end of it. Try and find a little track here to actually get in there. That's a mud track, that works. There's an extra spline under there, it is. So that was what's doing that. You can straighten that off now and it works again. We won't do much to that little bit area. That, I think we put this place this road into the end. We won't place any assets down, so really to the end. We, we concentrate on this, this part here, mostly because we, we want to lay the tracks first. Now this was the the station. Actually, I think we changed it over. Ah, the location here is the station I was originally aiming to take the uh, the planks to. As up there is the uh, 
it's a sawmill. But, um, well, it's not, it wasn't to be. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't accept planks, or the one we use, and there, it doesn't accept planks. But I use it as an opportunity. We just take it to somewhere else instead. Yeah, lower down a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. I found it very difficult as we're going actually going up a hill there to actually just get both in the same height. Yes, it's, <laughs> you can actually see from the grass there that you, you have no choice, you have to put it on there. So it's, it's not biggie, we just mess around with the track a little bit. There are a few other issues that we end up having with these. I do like the idea of uh, an industrial area with some tracks running through it. We'll bury the tracks in the roads. Now I was hoping the junction here would be able to put on top, but as you see, you can't. That's a real shame. To end up having the junction just above there. It's not quite what we wanted. We, I think we change it from a, a cross there to a T. There we go, yeah. that across a little bit that's it so yeah those tracks are buried in the uh, in the road pity we can get it at the junction that that'd be fun making traffic wait of course it doesn't really because it the traffic doesn't really interact with the, the trains does it it just goes straight through it but it's just probably best I think these are actually these roads are actually traffic enabled, so uh, yeah, probably wouldn't have worked anyway. Right, I think this is the start of the time I decide it's not going to work. Well, no, that's not a good start, is it? Not enough space in that between that junction and the turntable, really. You can see what those two lines there are. I've got the one with these little turntables and the separate one. The separate one's there just to bypass, so we can get locos past it. If there's we're really looking at this tiny little wagons and a tiny little train go up and down those roads. Not that train. It's too big to actually get around those turntables. But this turntable here is too close. And yeah, we're going to end up putting, taking it down here. I think what we're doing is now getting the height. See, I was, I was looking from the main line. It's just too far away there, so that's why I end up changing it. But it does give, I, I think, the extra track here between these points here and the uh, the main turntable at what we were with the depot, I think, is. Uh, no, it's the, it's the height doing that. Just change the height slightly, it'll be fine. Come on. Come past me. There we go. See, it wasn't that hard, was it? All the heights around here are different, mostly because of the canal. Now, it's not going to stay like this, we're just having a few offshoots here. Uh, 
and yeah. <laughs> mm. We get there in the end, and the height, and it looks fine. It's just messing around trying to get it to work. Getting a sort of a smooth junction between these. Oops, these two middle ones aren't going to do that. Yeah, that's a way to fix it, just delete the end bit. <laughs> Did it again, yeah, but I just pushed back that time. Undo. Right, so we take, get rid of those two into the chat, there we go. You can kind of see how it's going to be now. And we can lengthen those tracks off at the end of there a little bit more as well. We just have to straighten them off a bit more. And then the last thing we do, we're, we're not using fixed heights on here at the moment, and this land is all different heights, so... Yeah, I think I'll probably do that off camera, but... I, I changed the height all to one height, so it's uh, all fixed. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you press that ding dong bell button, it even tells you when I put more stuff on, which will likely, if you're watching it live, be tomorrow. Cheers, guys. See you next time. Bye bye.